My name is Misha Kadigasha. And on behalf of Oakland Unified School District, I'm excited to bring everyone together to honor and recognize the hard work and dedication by Brookfield students and staff. Um, Brookfield participated in OUSD's district and citywide attendance campaign for the month of January. The theme was return, reconnect, and reflect. And as we returned from winter break and began a new calendar year, the Brookfield students engaged in a classroom activities when they returned by reconnecting and reflecting on OUSD's attendance pledge. And with that, we have a very special guest today with us. And before we show some of his videos, I want to introduce him. Um, he's a star player with Oakland Roots. Oakland Roots is Oakland's professional soccer team. And we are honored to have Max Ornstill repre uh, representing them and joining us today. Uh, Max was born here in the East Bay, was an OUSD student who attended Chabot Elementary School. And later he attended Santa Clara University here in the Bay Area where he studied and played soccer in college. And then he played professional soccer in Portland and now he came back home and is joining us um, here, joining the Oakland Roots in our hometown of Oakland. And so with that, I would like to introduce Mr. Uh, Orange still. First of all, thank you guys for having me. It is an honor to speak with you guys, to be here. I know that right now it's challenging to show up with everything that's going on. So it is my great honor to award Brookfield Elementary with this award. I know that showing up is tough right now and it really shows how hard you guys are working. And I wanna congratulate you all on this amazing achievement. Uh, I grew up in Oakland and so I, you know, relate to going to school in Oakland and I'm now have the, having the privilege of coming back and playing a sport here. And it's, it's really a dream come true to be here and talking to you guys and giving you this award. I've been waiting way too long, my team way too strong, we on the grind. Having spent a few years away from here and coming back, I now realize so much of my identity and who I am is because of me being from here. And you know what they say, there's no place like home. I want the team to be a representation of the city. That's a team that's going to work hard, that's going to grind, that's going to have some flair to it. It's going to be a show. Thank you. So, like, like you said, it is my honor to present the attendance award to Brookfield Elementary. You guys work so hard and you deserve it. And it is a great honor for me to present you guys with this award. So congratulations. Well, what I wanna say, I wanna say thank you to all the staff. Thank you to everybody with all their hard work. And I will show the trophy that we got. Oh, oh. <laughs> very, very exciting. We just have to keep up the good work. Yeah. <laughs> Miss Smith, Miss Daniels, anything? You know, attendance isn't, it's a group effort. I've seen at Brookfield. I've only been there since really January 6th, but I can safely say like I've seen them work together with Glormar, like kind of working with teachers and teachers showing videos from district that you know, just encourage kids with trying to be at school and have their cameras on as much as possible. Mm -hmm. And so we have seen less of an attendance issue this month. I think just reaching out a little bit differently um, and just working as a team. It was not, I would say, any one person's effort. Mm -hmm. And congratulating the kids because our scholars at the school it takes effort for them to get up to. I have a 14 year old at home and it's taken effort and he can get up on his own. And I still have to like prod him. And, you know, so really this is a whole family effort during this virtual reality for all of us. So I'm very proud of what I've seen everybody accomplish this month. And hopefully we can increase it even more next month. So Mr. Orenstall, uh, first question. What does showing up every day mean to you? 
Um, it means a lot. I think, you know, I'm sure a lot of you guys, similar to myself, grew up having uh, goals and aspirations and wanting to achieve those goals. And I think for me, showing up every day means I'm working towards that goal. And I think for me, I grew up wanting to be a professional soccer player and I didn't just wake up one day and become a professional soccer player. It takes day after day of dedication, of practice, of hard work, of sacrifice. And whether each day you get better a tiny bit or you get better a whole ton, it takes all those days added up to reach those goals. And so uh, showing up to me means wanting to be the best version of yourself and wanting to reach bigger and better things, whether that be, you know, who you are, who you are to your family, a career accomplishment, um, just becoming better and better little by little or big step by big step. And that takes every day. Thank you. Thank you. If you could have a conversation with your elementary school self, what advice or encouragement would you have given yourself? Uh, that's a, that is a great question. Um, I think I would tell myself that I can do anything that I put my mind to. Um, I think a lot of people grow up being told what they can't do and not necessarily what they can do. And, you know, I've experienced firsthand and I've seen it firsthand. You really can't accomplish anything that you put your mind to. And so I would tell myself not just to have lofty goals, but start to plan it out. Start to, if you want to be an athlete, you have to, you know, make a schedule for running, make a schedule for practice. If you want to be a doctor, you know, say I'm going to read one book a month or one book a year about this subject to learn about this more. If you want to be a lawyer, you know, ask if you can talk to someone within law or learn a bit of, learn a bit more about that. So I would just say, don't limit to yourself to what you cannot do or what you think you can't do and be open to all the possibilities of this world. You guys are really at an age where the world is at your fingertips and you can do anything you put your mind to. I truly believe that. It just takes hard work and belief and you really can't accomplish, you know, whatever you want in this world. Thank you, thank you. And the last one, question at least for me, is there a specific subject, a moment, a person um, from elementary school at Chabot Elementary School um, that helped shape who you are today? Yeah, so actually, I'm going to, is it okay if I move that to high school? Without a doubt. Okay. Um, I took a class in high school uh, that was called Campus Ministry Team. And originally the idea of this team was to put on skits and plays at um, the school ministry events to try and send a message and kind of have some fun. And originally I kind of went into it thinking this will be an easy A, don't have to work too hard, get to hang out with my friends. But really it, it kind of exposed me to some really much bigger messages and deeper meanings that I think now impact me more than I realized at the time, and this was that when you come together with a group of people, whether that be your friends, your family, your community, you can send a much bigger message to inspire. And so I think at the time I thought I was just making funny plays, but in reality, I was sending a message, not just to my class, but really to the whole school and to the whole community, because the whole community was there at those, um, at those events. And so, you know, that, in addition to that, I really got out of my comfort zone. And I think a lot of people like to stay in their comfort zone, what's easy, um, what's comfortable, but you learn a lot about yourself and you get to grow and you get to learn most importantly, you know, and you get to inspire when you get out of your comfort zone. And I think that class really pushed me to get out of my comfort zone and do some things a little differently and learn about myself, but most importantly, send a positive message and inspire. And I think it's, it's been quoted a lot, but I think I agree in that one of the greatest human acts we can do is to inspire. And so I think any opportunity you have to inspire people is a great opportunity and one you should take advantage of. And so I've learned a lot from that class, um, looking back at it, 
And I continue to use a lot that I learned from that class today and getting out of my comfort zone and doing new things. And I, you know, I encourage everyone here to try new things, get out of your comfort zone and inspire. Because a lot of times when you inspire others, you end up inspiring yourself and becoming a better version of yourself. And so I'm, I'm, you know, in, in you asking me that question, it's caused me to kind of relive that experience. And I'm now learning more and more about myself, which is awesome. And I hope, you know, I hope you guys can take something from that experience that I had as well. Yeah. Well, we definitely appreciate it. I mean, that's what we do and that's what we hope to do for our young people and you sharing these, you know, your experiences that helps inspire them and us as adults to continue to do that. So thank you and appreciate you reflecting on that. Um, and now Brookfield team, uh, Ms. Daniels, Ms. Robles, uh, we can open it up for student questions uh, for Mr. Orange still, um, if you would like to call on a few students. How about Zai? Were you fast when you were a kid? Was I fast when I was a kid? I think I was pretty fast. Um, I might need to look back at some home videos, but if I remember, I was pretty fast. You look pretty fast right there. You might beat me in a race right now, but at the time I was pretty fast. Me? I can even run. Oh, really? Jose? Um, what's your favorite team? Oh, what's my favorite team? It's got to be the Oakland Roots, the best team around. Nice. What's your favorite color? Ooh, I think it's got to be green. You know, it's a tough toss up between green and blue, color of the sky, color of grass, but I think I got to go green. It, it looks good with my eyes as well, so that's a bonus. Zanaya, thank you. <laughs> How long did it, did it take to get into to soccer? <laughs> That's a great question. Um, my sister, I have an older sister who's three years older than me, and she started playing soccer when she was eight. And so I started going to her soccer games when I was five. And so I started playing when I was five and, you know, fell in love with the game. And from that point on, kind of started playing every day and was practicing a ton. Um, but you, I have a lot of friends who didn't get into soccer until 10 or 12, 13, and they're still great players. It doesn't matter when you get into it. It's all about, you know, having fun and enjoying it. My favorite sport is soccer. Nice. Love that. That's great. Well, once again, want to congratulate the entire Brookfield community, especially the students and staff who work so hard at attending school every day. Want to give a special shout out um, to Mr. Ornstill and the Oakland Roots organization for representing today and every day um, for representing our city. And with that, on behalf of Oakland Unified School District, we want to wish everyone have a safe and supportive weekend. So take care, everybody. Great work. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Congratulations. Thank you. Keep Thank it you. up. Bye. <laughs> Bye. 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 Bye.